Hello everyone, I am Douglas E. Welch and this is A Gardener's Notebook. Now, as you may know, I am a member of Toy Build Saturday 6 and you can find out about all six of us bloggers on the website. You'll find a link there in the Saturday 6 logo. Now today we're going to actually deal with a project that we've sort of started already here in the garden, but because of lack of supplies, and you'll find out what that means in a minute, we haven't been able to finish. So we're going to get the chance to show you exactly how we do it. What we're going to do today is wine bottle edging, or in our case, multiple bottle edging. Now you may have seen this in older gardens. It used to be more of a trend to reuse glass bottles in your garden, either as bottle trees or as bottle edging, but it's sort of fallen out of favor. So it's actually sort of interesting to be able to show it again and show you how we do it as well. So here we have a section of the uh, wine bottle edging that we've started already. And you can see we're pretty eclectic about how we do it. We don't really care about any one color or any one type of bottle. There's even an Orangina bottle I see in here. Um, we're also not real picky about the height. You know, basically you want to try and keep them levels to make it a nice design, but it's really fairly foolproof. No matter how you do it, you really can't mess it up. And frankly, I like projects like that that you can't mess up. Um, what we do is, uh, basically what we've done already here is you'll see there's a little trench I've already started here next to the existing bottle. And you'll sort of learn after a while, you kind of can take a bottle and test the depth a little bit, but you'll figure out your depth. We're actually following a, an existing uh, edge here that was already here. This is plastic edging here that we're kind of hiding with the wine bottles we may actually end up removing when we're done. But uh, that's all you do. You dig a little trench and then you start to lay in your wine bottles. Every woman got a fire on a sea, but I don't want to cry. Here we are with our little trench dug, and uh, what I've done is I've just placed a few of the bottles, and you can see they kind of vary in height. Different wine bottles have different heights, um, but they pretty much average out. Uh, I've done my little trench here. I kind of laid them out for positioning so I know how many are going to fit in this area. And basically, you start at one end, and you just start filling in. Where do they go? This uh, this area is sort of tough because what we're doing is we're actually digging in what was the path here, which is that compact over here to walking on. So it's a little bit tough. You can hear our jets flying over. We are in an urban area here in Los Angeles. And you don't get a lot of airport noise, but as you can hear, Burbank Airport does sometimes send a jet our way. So you can kind of basically get them set in here a little bit. And what we're going to do is at the end, we stomp them in with our foot, and I'll show you that in a little bit. And then we also water them in, much like you water in a transplant, so that it really seats the bottles well. What really surprised me about this was how sturdy these bottles are. They actually, I won't say they're as strong as if you cemented them in, which I wouldn't recommend, but definitely they're sturdy, they don't get easily kicked over, and they stand up to quite a bit of weather. I assume as we get our winter rains, it'll also help set these in as well. But you can see how quickly this goes. If you need a little more space, you can just take your trowel for more depth, you know, kind of test the bottle in there until you got the height you want, and then away you go. And just keep working your way along. I love projects like this that are simple, they don't require a lot of equipment, and I love the fact that this is recycled. And just because you're using the bottles here doesn't mean you can't simply recycle them later. They're not damaged in any way, you can simply pull them up, put them in your recycle bin, and do something else here. I also love that, I love projects you can undo and redo with something else once you have a, a different idea or different desires down the road. So here we are, we've got our line of bottles set in here, and all we're going to do is, again, you guys are all familiar with this, just like you stump in a transplant, when you put it in your garden, you just walk along each side, you can kind of nudge things this way or that if they're tipping a little way you don't really like, like this one on the end here. This one on the end will be a little bit loose until we put the rest of the bottles in, just because it's kind of hanging out there by itself. But we do that. 
we just stomp them in. Then you can also fill up more dirt if you like. I found this to be a good height. I do want the bottles to be a certain height so that we can top dress with compost and other stuff inside this bed uh, and things don't spill out into the path. So here we are in the final step. Uh, we're just going to use our little garden hose on a kind of a dribble and just basically go along each side of the bottles and water them in. So there you have it. You really couldn't ask for an easier project. You couldn't ask for something that's even more recycling than this. Now, just to let you know, we're not really big lushes. We didn't drink all this wine by ourselves, although my wife is Sicilian. Uh, what we did is we put out the call to our friends once we did our first test run and said, hey, this is working for us. Could you please bring us any wine bottles that you have? So we've got, oh, probably another 10 that I can lay down. It does take a little while. This was probably 30 some bottles to do not quite half the small bed. So it does take a certain volume of bottles. But again, you can put out the call to your friends. You can even have a party, have them bring their empties over, maybe empty a few more, have some food, and maybe you can even get them to help you put in the bottle wall. Again, I'm Douglas Welch. This has been a Gardener's Notebook. Thanks for visiting. Please check out the website at douglasewelch.com slash A-G-M.